So everything that you need for this project would be a piece of cardboard, some scissors, tape would be helpful, um, not a half to yarn, and some sort of something to mark with, maybe a ruler. To make a weaving at home, you want to start out with a piece of cardboard, nice sturdy cardboard from a delivery type box. I cut mine off, I didn't do the best job of cutting it. So I'm just gonna try to even this out and I'm just gonna make a small loom today. So let's look at some different types of looms. Um, this loom is warped like this. This person just started weaving on theirs. Um, this loom is warped up and down and this one is like almost completely woven. And then see this has the tabs on the end. This one has the pegs. And this one um, has just little slits where the threads go through. The first step is warping our looms. You've cut out your paper cardboard and we've looked at some other looms. You can be super precise like these ones are and measure top and the bottom like with a ruler. I mean the nice thing about this corrugated cardboard if I hold it to this side I can see I wouldn't even have to measure. I could just look on these lines and I can just make a little mark on each one or if you didn't have this, you can measure. Like you could hold it straight up and down and do a line here and a line here. The other thing you can do is you can just, um, as long as you have the same number on top and bottom, it does not have to be perfect. You can just sort of eyeball it. Count how many you did, do that same number up here. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut little slice down each one of these lines. Step one in weaving is actually not the weaving, it's warping the loom. I'm just going to use yarn straight from the yarn ball or the yarn skein and I'm going to line it up with one of my tabs, put a piece of tape down and go through that first hole. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom, I'm going to pull it tight Go across, across here to the next one and go down. If yours aren't um, looping over very easily, just you can take a minute and make that cut a little deeper. See that one looped much easier and that was deeper than this one. On the front you're going down and on the back you're looping around behind it. So that's what the back looks like and the front are the strings. Now there is a time when you might want to loop, you want, might want to warp both sides if you were making a bag. I do have a video about how to make a bag or a pouch. All right, I've reached the end. I'm gonna cut a nice long piece. It's always better to have more yarn on the end. You never know if it comes out or something, you may need to be able to pull it. So I'm just gonna tape this here. Okay, now I'm ready to start weaving. Okay, so I've cut a piece of yarn. I'm gonna weave in an over under pattern. So I tucked it under first, so the next one goes over, then this one goes under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull until I get to about here. I've got a little tail on, and um, I'm just gonna tape this to the back. For these homemade looms, um, you know, there's a couple different ways to do it. If you've never done a weaving before, you can just leave it on here, and that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, you could, if you wanted to get super fancy, before you start weaving, you could draw a color on this 
I got to the end. Now, this ended on under. So I'm going to start on over. And I'm going to go over, under. And there's two ways you can check it. What I would do is when you get to here, here, yeah, when you get to here, go ahead and pull it through to make sure. Because if you accidentally weave the same as you did on this row, the whole two rows are going to pull all the way out. So you want to check, especially on the ends, even if you mess up in the middle, if your end is looped around, you'll be fine. So this one was under, so that means this starts on over. And like I said, it's perfectly fine to do it with your hands at home. Um, but since I have a needle, I'm going to go ahead and use it because I think it will make it easier in the video for you to see because my fat fingers won't be in the way. All right, so this one's under. So this one's over, under over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And then I'm going to pull that through. And then don't pull it too tight to where it bends these strings in, but just Pull it to where it's all done. There's not a huge loop hanging over here. And then squish it down. Okay, so now this one, and see how each one is opposite of the one in front of it? So that will also help you to know that you're doing it correctly. Um, so this one is over. So that means I have to go under here. Let me show you what happens if I go over here and I start weaving And then I pull, look what happens to the to this row, because it looks right, right? And this looks right, but look what happens. All of it comes out. So if you had done two rows and this one was wrong, both rows will come out. So I'm gonna fix this. And now to make sure that you don't make that mistake, when you end on over, just check and go ahead and go under, and pull it through just to double check that you're getting it right on the corner. And if you have gotten it right on the corner, you're going to pick up where you left off over here. So this was under. So this is over. Under, over, under, over. And like I said, look, you can compare it to what's below it. That one is under and this one is over. So you know you're on the right track. And then go ahead and pull all the string, not too tight, and then squish it down. And then you're going to keep on doing that until you fill up this little weaving. Okay, so I finished with one um, yarn. And it's time to do my next yarn. And honestly, in a lot of, um, at school, I have you guys tie knots just because I think it's a lot easier. Um, but if you're gonna leave this on here, and even in traditional weaving, they don't really tie knots between, you just kind of weave it. It's kind of more advanced, but you would weave it um, and tuck it down. So if you don't wanna tie knots, let's just do that on this one. Then I'm just going to weave it all the way till the end and tuck it down. But I do kind of have to pay attention. So I ended on under, or let's go ahead and do one more. So I'm going to end on over here. So that means I am actually want to overlap though. Because I can't just start on over with my, otherwise this tail will stick out. So I'm going to tuck this one in. And then I'm going to come back here, just a little bit overlap. I'm going to go opposite of this. So this, this one is under. I'm going to go over, under, over. And then I'm just going to tuck that. Guys, I thought this was going to be easier, but it might be harder. I don't know. Okay, so that's over. I'm gonna go under. I'll show you how to tie a knot too on the next one. So I'm just gonna keep going. You're kinda gonna be have to it will be a little bit careful on this one to not pull it out since that's not tied as a knot. 
And when you're choosing your yarn length, you don't want it to be so um, long that it is all tangly, but you also don't want it to be so short that you have to um, switch your yarn out a ton. Okay, so I've reached the end of um, what is easy to use with my needle. So I'm just going to use my fingers, which you may be doing for the whole thing, and I'm going to go back around to the middle, um, and we're not taking this off the loom. And you know what? This could actually be a cute little coaster, not for cold drinks because it would get all soggy, but for hot drinks for hot cocoa and stuff through the winter, this would be cute if you wanted to use this as a little coaster. So I'm just gonna <laughs> shove this down here and actually let's just trim it. So I'm ending in the middle, trimming it, and then just poke it down there. And then when you get your new yarn, I'm also gonna start in the middle. So I think if we do it this way, it doesn't matter what you end it on per se, but you want to be opposite of what's below it. So this one is over. So I'm going to go under here and I'm just going to start in the middle. I'm going to pull my yarn till the end. And then I'm just going to use something to poke it down behind my weaving. Hide it in there. Now I ended on over here, so you want to make sure and go under. And now because this is sort of different, um, this doesn't 100% line up with these ones, but that's okay. You won't be able to tell really when it all gets smushed down. And then you make sure and do opposite the send it on under so you can go over. So this will just be our easy beginner one. And if more people like this and want to learn how to do a more advanced one at home, um, making your own loom from cardboard, we can do that later. But we'll just start with this easy one where you don't have to tie knots. You don't have to weave it through and you don't have to take it off the loom. So this is kind of a beginner at home weaving. I'm on the last string of my weaving and the beauty of leaving it on the loom is that when you're done, you can just be done. <laughs> and all you're gonna do is just what you've been doing the whole time, just cut your yarn and tuck it down in the middle. And there you have it, a beautiful little weaving. I hope it went well for you guys.